Prosopagnosia, a documentary. I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. Oh, no worries. I, I think I recognize you from Professor Heimer McGinn's class. How are you doing with the project? Oh my god, I have no idea what's going on. Oh, do you want to get lunch tomorrow? Maybe we can try to figure it out. Sure, that sounds great, but I have to go and have a class. All right, I'll see you later. Hey, are we still good for lunch later? Um, I'm actually meeting someone from class for lunch today. Uh, oh, okay. And where does thing just happen to me? Prosopagnosia? I've never heard of that. How does prosopagnosia affect a person's life? Prosopagnosia is the inability to recognize faces, kind of like being blind but still being able to see. Sometimes people can't even recognize themselves, especially when looking into a mirror. There's a series of visual tests that can determine whether or not you have it. Although there is no specific medical treatment, there are different coping strategies, such as identifying clothing, hair types, or voices. Prosopagnosia can be a result of brain damage in the right fusiform face area. Which is the highlighted part of the brain is the fusiform face area, which is primarily used in face recognition, and if damaged or undeveloped, can result in prosopagnosia. Damage can be caused by strokes, car accidents, falls, and a variety of other things. Although it is rare, it can still occur during development. What can we do to make more people know about this? Scientists are holding clinical trials and studies to help understand prosopagnosia better. However, well-known celebrities like Brad Pitt have begun to open the discussion of this disorder during interviews and have given insight on some of the struggles faced with prosopagnosia. It affects an individual in multiple ways. They report feelings of embarrassment, guilt, and failure as a result of their face recognition difficulties. They indicated fear and avoidance of social situations and, in extreme cases, Chronic anxiety leads to long-term social isolation, limited employment opportunities, and a loss of self-confidence. For kids, this inability to recognize faces can cause stress at school and in social situations, um, and is potentially dangerous. Children who become separated from their caregivers may not be able to relocate them, or they may mistakenly approach stra strangers who they think are familiar faces. Why is my reflection